What's going on guys, it's Grant, and today we got a new sneaker pickup. This time, finally a pair of personals. A lot of the pickups that I've gotten in the past were for reselling and stuff, so finally we got a pair for the collection. Now, with this pickup, did I buy fakes? Now we're gonna hop right into it. Today we got an unboxing of the Fugazi, one in the chamber, like Jordan 1 kind of knockoff bootleg sneakers. I'm gonna start off with the box first. If you guys don't know the brand Fugazi, it's by this guy named Trevor on Instagram, Trevor Gorgie, I'm pretty sure. They have a couple different colorways. They have the Chicago colorway, and then like the neutral gray, which I got here. And then they also literally just came out with a dunk colorway at the, um, the Paris colorway. So got these about a week ago, and the box is actually super dope. So let's start off with that. So starting off on the size tag, you guys will see size 10. These only came in full sizes, so I went with the size 10. Um, one in the chamber, Fugazi, made in China and it's got their Instagram and stuff like that. And then obviously gray box all the way around. On one side it says Fugazi, the other side also says Fugazi, and then on the top you got like the Paisley bandana print, and it says one in the chamber with a little logo right there. I'll put some shots over it so you guys can see. And then something that's super dope about these is when you open it up, it's actually a magnet, so you guys can see that. Pretty cool, then you open it up, red on the inside, Super, super dope packaging. It says Fugazi right there and like silver. I'll take out the paper in a second to show you guys, but a couple different things that it came with was one, an extra pair of laces, gray laces. I'm just gonna keep them in the bag. I don't really like the look of the gray laces on them. Also came with regular like cardboard shoe trees, a little dust bag that says Fugazi here. And inside this bag, if I can get it open, are the little lace tips. I also took the lace tips off just because I feel like they're gonna fall off if I actually wear them, but basically little bullets right there, pretty cool. If you do choose to wear them, um, then they come with a little gold screw right here. Basically, you can just put like super glue in it, then put it onto the laces, and then basically put it in and then screw it on. Um, once they're on, unless you can find a way to get the super glue off, um, like you can't really change up the laces because it won't fit through the holes, so took those off, and then it also comes with a huge dust bag, obviously, to put the shoes in, and then there's a little lace lock. And then the full paper does say wanted, dead, or alive. Then it's got a picture of Trevor, and it says two tooth Trev, $500,000 reward, Fugazi. So pretty cool. I really like how they did the packaging on these. Um, they didn't just like use a random box and stuff. But yeah, really nice touch on that. All right, now let's move on to the shoes. As you guys can see, we got the Fugazi, one in the chamber in the neutral gray colorway. But yeah, these things are crazy. I'm gonna get into like the fake, are these fake, are these real, are they like custom inspired after we do the actual review. But starting off, you got this really nice quality leather. It's more of like a cream. I'm pretty sure on the camera it'll look more like white. Um, but like compared to like a white Air Force, Hope you guys can tell like this is more of like a cream now when I got these in person the leather is actually really nice for like a knockoff type of Jordan um, better quality than a regular Jordan one like I got the mochas right there these are better quality than that and yeah let's basically just start off show you guys the top first as you guys can see you got the paisley print in white with the gray background instead of the normal wings logo it says one in the chamber right here you got one hole filled obviously for the one in the chamber and then you got the other bullets right here instead of the swoosh obviously like the big thing that's different is a revolver upside down so you guys can see it right there and this is in like a gray suede um, and the suede's pretty nice as well moving on to the toe cap something i think is really dope is that they changed up the holes and instead of just like regular perforations they did put like, I don't know if this is laser engraved or what, but basically just bullet holes and they're basically just scattered throughout the toe. I really like that they did that instead of just like keeping it regular with the little perforations. Moving on to the inside, you got the same revolver right there, the bullets right there. Um, pretty much just the same thing without the logo on the top. And then you got cream laces, as I said before in the box. They did come with gray laces so you can change them out. And then at the top you got the Fugazi logo instead of the Nike Air. And then on the inside, you got the same little thing that was on the paper. Wanted, dead or alive, two tooth Trev, $500,000 reward. Um, and then on the inside, I'm not gonna take them out just because I've already worn these and they're pretty stuck in there now. But you guys can kind of see that there on the insole. If you were to take the insoles out and put them together, then you would see that it's like a full little image there. Pretty cool. And then also there's a size tag, which literally only says 10 
and Fugazi. And then moving on to the bottom, something that's pretty cool is they switched it up. So you got the same little target right there, Fugazi, little design right there with like a horseshoe and a couple bullets. Same color midsole, you got cream, and then the little stitching is in gray. And then also the lining, you just got like regular gray mesh. I will say the leather on the toe cap on the left shoe is a little bit more tumbled than the leather on the right shoe, um, but it's not like a huge difference. Just something that I noticed also up on the collar. Um, the leather's a little bit more tumbled on the left shoe, so I don't know, not a big deal, but just something I noticed. And that's pretty much it for the shoe. Now I did want to talk about like, as I said, are these fake or are they custom? I don't think that they're fake. I know I probably said that in the title, um, but yeah, I don't think that these are fake. Um, to me, like what a fake shoe is, would be like somebody saying like, let's say I have a pair of bread ones if and I knew that they were fake and I sold them as real or even if I sold them as fake like I'm advertising them as a Jordan 1 bread and selling them but they're fake but with these they're not advertising these as like a Jordan 1 like they're not saying Jordan 1 neutral gray for sale um, but obviously I mean this is like a ripoff of the it's the same exact silhouette as the Jordan 1 I hope I kind of explained my point of view from that well also um, with the custom thing they I feel like they changed up enough of this for it not to be just like a ripoff Jordan 1 like for instance with the Warren Lotus whole situation literally the only thing that he did on the first pair I know he did like he's doing a new um, kind of like model or whatever with the dunk but the first one was literally the same dunk his little logo, a logo on the back. And the only thing that he changed was a tiny little face on the Nike logo. And like for me, that's just not enough to say like, like they're not fake in my opinion, but he just didn't really change up enough. But I feel like Fugazi was really creative with these. They not only changed up the Nike swoosh, but they put the Paisley, they changed the logo, they put the little um, bullets there, they did the bullet holes. And as I said before, this is a better quality shoe than most Jordan 1s that I've seen. Like the quality's much better. So I don't know, man. I don't think that these are a fake. I'd say they're more like a custom inspired type of look um, and they're dope. And even Drake was wearing them the other day and Drake signed to Nike. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't think that they're fake. I think they did something crazy with the box, um, better than a regular Jordan box and the shoes are better quality. So let me know what you guys think. Are these fake? Would you consider them fake um, or would you consider them like a custom shoe? But yeah, let me know what you guys think about these down below. But yeah, as always, it's Grant Brady Lopez. I hope you guys had a great day. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. As I said, leave a comment. Do you guys think these are custom or fake or like inspired, whatever? I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.